There's no denying that frustrations are high in Dallas after the Cowboys lost to Detroit 47 to 9 on Sunday. Jerry Jones was on radio Monday and didn't take too kindly to some tough questions about the structure of this year's team. Here's part of what Jerry had to say. I'm not arguing with you. I'm dealing with how we line up against San Francisco, not what I did wrong last week or last month or two months ago or two years ago. There's one Super Bowl champion. Now we want to be that champion. And I'm sure not throwing the towel in today because of what happened out there Sunday. This is not your job. Your job isn't to let me go over all the reasons that I did something and I'm sorry that I did it. That's not your job. I'll get somebody else to ask these questions, man. But it comes off as if he's calling for that radio host's uh, job. Damien, your thoughts about these comments from Jerry Jones? Um, we talked a little bit off air about how it's a little bit poetic considering yesterday we discussed, you know, is there trouble in Dallas? I think this proves there is trouble in Dallas. Jerry Jones feels it. I agree with you 100%. It definitely feels like he's trying to get rid of the radio host job, which I don't know why he feels like he can. But, uh, Bert, I was, I was floored when I heard this first. Uh, I want to know what... What what is it for you? <laughs> As someone in the profession, I kind of don't take too kindly to someone no. that doesn't have control over my job calling for my job. And it is that man's job to ask Jerry Jones the tough questions because we work with a bunch of Cowboys yeah. fans and they were frustrated at the lack of free agent signings this offseason, including Derrick Henry, who yep, wanted absolutely. to be a Cowboy. I get that Jerry's frustrated. I get that he wants to win, but it's the same old story every single year that Jerry wants to win, but on his own terms. It goes all the way back to the 90s when Jimmy left after the 93 season. Jerry, the owner, good. Jerry, the GM, not so good. Uh, absolutely. And speaking of Jerry, the GM, let's talk about a former Cowboy here, Amari Cooper. He is traded to Buffalo and funny enough he's actually traded for he's actually traded for less than what Dallas got for him Dallas originally traded a fifth or got a fifth round back for him uh, the Bills traded a third so talk a little let's talk a little about Amari Cooper man I think he still has a lot left in the tank what do you think absolutely Amari Cooper he's a guy that I'd like to have on my team the Bills <laughs> need a number one wide receiver after Diggs left they've been asking Josh Allen to do it all and Josh Allen's a great quarterback one of the best in the league but he can't do it all they have two losses he is trying to do it all but hopefully this will help them, and I think maybe he'll be jumping through some tables after catching some touchdowns in Buffalo. 100%. Still one of the best route runners in the league. I mean, right there, he's doing it's your team, unfortunately, but he looks <laughs> it's fantastic. It's always the highlights against yeah. the Giants. Hey, he's a very, very good player, and we know this. And speaking of great route runners, let's talk about this next guy, Devontae Adams. Hey, uh, that's a marriage right there that'll never be broken. Him and Aaron Rodgers, it seems, man. Tell, I personally think that was such a fantastic trade for the Jets. I love it so much, but I know you're not the biggest fan of the Jets. Talk a little bit about how you feel about that. No, I'm not a huge supporter of Gang Green, but you know what? Devontae Adams is great. He had huge success in his years in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers. They combined for 47 touchdowns and 425 completions. On paper, Adams on one side, Garrett Wilson on the mm. other. That's pretty scary. They're two and four. My only question is, is it too little too late? I don't think so, because you know why? You're bringing in someone that already has rapport, already has a lot of chemistry with your starting quarterback. So I think, honestly, they're going to hit the ground running. And I would say for the, my fantasy peop uh, football people out there, my my uh, my price picks people yes to Devonte Adams bet the overs and start Devonte Adams. Hey, they have a tough game on Sunday night going to Pittsburgh to play the Steelers and real quick a little bit of quarterback controversy Fields or yeah. Wilson Sunday night. Now, it should be Fields, but they're gonna put Wilson in. Uh, we don't got enough time to discuss that. <laughs> All right, maybe that's tomorrow night. <laughs>